I hear there's erotica and my auntie is like watching right now. So I think we should just get stuck into it. Yeah, I mean, this erotica was written by someone's aunt, so it's perfect. Ugh. Cowboy erotica. Did you, want to, did you want to go get some cowboy kind of stuff? He is currently looking at her like he was a starving wolf and she was a juicy T-bone. So, <laughs> Man, That's a thick ham. Okay. Here we go. So Jenna let her hands do the talking. Still holding his gaze, she started popping open the buttons down the front of her shirt. With each one, her breathing increased, matching the rate of each inhale. Chase pulled through his flared nostrils. <laughs> the last button slipped free and Jenna let the sides fall away. Jenna's nipples perked up higher, tingling and straining <laughs> under the thin material <laughs> of a bra. Please, please hold your applause till the end. Pulsing in her palm. <laughs> Chase Jesus dove Christ. forward and feasted on her aching breast, momentarily throwing off her goal. Licking and nibbling first one nipple, then the other. His silky hair tickled her and filled her head with a mixture of cologne and heated male flesh. The opposing rough texture of his day old beard and the moist velvet inside his mouth shut all but the most primal part of her down, and Jenna went after Chase's strain and zipper as though her life depended on getting in there. His Penis sprang forward, <laughs> the velvet tip leaving a trail of moisture across her belly. <laughs> no! We should go to like first thrust at least, shouldn't we? Like, <laughs> all right, first, first thrust it is. We do listen to our guests. Driving his tongue past her lips, Chase plundered the inside of Jenna's mouth as she shoved at the bunched up denim further bare in his ass. Grabbing the taut cheeks, she dug in and held on as his hips pumped, rubbing against her and mirroring the thrust of his tongue. There we go. Um, and he said he's a Mossad agent, so just just for clarification. Um, thank, yeah. thank you for your service, Dan. <laughs> thank you. Oh, no! no. Thank, you, thank you. Please teach us all Krav Maga, the shittiest martial art. <laughs> because you're appointed and not elected? Uh, you just don't lose your seat. What? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We just have an appointed senate, so you just it's it gets a senate built entirely out of nepotism. Um, it's, it's probably not healthy. that different from the UK House of Lords, but it's like uh, I don't know. It's like no one really likes it, but no one ever really gets around to doing anything about it. They kick you out of the party, so you just become an independent senator because you can't lose your seat. Two, yeah, like two, just act as they wish. two fascists like, for the conservative party people they're their own little like independent caucus in our senate it's it's amazing she said residential schools were good she can no, no 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 someone in my city got yelled at for speaking to Golog while they were walking down the street so Spe racism sorry, is can you very say that real again? like speaking what Sweet meats, I think, refer to like certain like it refers to awful i think it's like kidneys the tongue liver things like that they got transported for stealing fucking tongues i'm not sure i've met any scuba divers who are online enough to be like so hey what do we think about like this gesture being co-opted by like weird internet psychos and so like water was flooding into my mask i was having to constantly like hold my mask and go like like purge the water hey what was fine i saw some cool fish i saw some nudibranchs <gasps> so they're like, yeah. yeah i Sorry. saw a Apparently, uh, some scuba diving instructors have made, like, a rule that only seems to apply if you're a conventionally attractive woman that on your hundredth dive, you have to get naked un under the water. You have to go down to the sand and, like, take off your suit, take off your bathing suit. No. One of the main themes of the show is upsetting people, so. Okay, good, good. <laughs> um, but uh, let's all speculate wow, on what it okay. might be. Okay, damn. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, Josie, you got anything? Well, <laughs> you did the face. Oh yeah, that was accident. This is what I mean. I accidentally, I do it by accident all the time. Sorry, I thought you were. I That's thought someone was going to prompt you to do that, but we got a rare Josie face. Ah, uh, I did it. I'm not doing it again. It's a little bit. Oh my god, I just said that. Sorry. 
Okay, uh, my favorite his favorite historical fascist, uh, the, the artist Salvador Dali. He he was pro Franco Spain, I believe. Um, yeah, did did cool art, but he fucking sucked. Uh, fuck you, Salvador Dali. Uh, I still kind of <laughs> like the lobster phone. I'm really excited to just clip your answer to the question, Josie, and I'm just going to, like, post it on the Hell of a Way to Die Discord, and I'll be like, yeah, man, check out our episode. It was so good. You got to <laughs> pick someone who didn't do any actual atrocities, but was just kind of complicit. That's that's how you play Who's Your Favorite Fascist, the game we just made on Born Under Punches. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that that's for sure going in the jar. <laughs> hey, sorry, everyone. No. <laughs> Hey, anytime. We did ask. I gotta say, in this anime, in where he, wherein he becomes like a manager for like a J-pop star, he uses all of his like famous strategies to like help bring people to the shows. So it's it's goofy as shit. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I actually I, got a buddy that recommended that one. So it's on the please, list. Please Yep, yep. <laughs> sorry, sorry to do this to you. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> Josie looks so unhappy. Uh, Tojo from the um, Japanese one, purely because uh... <laughs> out of... Oh, no, 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 no. Out of all of the fascist leaders during World War II, he was the only one who could get his fucking ass reamed out by his lessers and do nothing about it because of how mm -hmm. fucked the Japanese government was during World War II. Mm -hmm. His, his admirals... <laughs> he is a shoe-polished salesman. Uh, he wears a brown linen suit with a white shirt and a sensible haircut. He frowns most of the time. Uh, he has an intimate knowledge of the production and colors of shoe polish. He can tell the difference between any shade of brown and black. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like yes you got your love gone. Okay. Can, do you want to update our viewers on what happened there? I forgot that it's high percentage. Ah, oh. there you go. Yay. So you've given me time to prepare my South African accent. Um, so, you know, for, thank you for, for those. Oh no! Dollar a can price point. Dollar uh, a can? Well, like like a buck twenty five yeah, yeah. probably with all the things. Yeah. And this I is, am drinking old, old Milwaukee wait because Kelly keeps out buying how cheap boxes American of it beer and is. Oh my leaving God, them in my got... fridge. Yeah, I figured. Could... <laughs> Sorry, I cut you off. You go first. No, no, sorry. Like, can you buy it at the supermarket in Canada? Or we don't have, we don't, America? no, no, we don't, we, you can't buy beer in a supermarket here. We have dedicated liquor stores. All simultaneously give the deuce to like, I don't know, just. Muldus is confused. He was attending a shoe polish convention in, in the Cairns Convention Center and is uh, baffled. <laughs> he is, he has thoughts on the layout. He, he has strong feelings on how a convention center would look and uh, he want, would not have chosen to set it up this way. That's understandable. Climate control. Um, lots of glass. Uh, lots of points of ingress and uh, lots of points of ingress and ingress. Uh, several sets of stairs to allow people up into the auditorium. Uh, I cannot see anything like that in this uh, current environment. Uh, and I'm and I cannot see where all the shoe polish moves are. My goodness, sir! Why have you called me here today? To die. <laughs> <laughs> Cerebral hemorrhage. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. And Will, with blood leaking out of his eyes and ears, you see him twitch a few times. So, I do? Uh, yeah. Well, I, yeah. the very quick Googling says yes. So, yeah, I, I want to attempt to lay an egg. Okay. Uh, where does that just happen, happen, or do I have to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, yeah, no, you, uh, you, Kelly, you roll a body, uh, to see if you can do this. Oh, uh, sepia ink is, <laughs> comes from squid ink. <laughs> and he just really? says that the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> just the whole time. Just <laughs> that's the right. sepia right. fact I know, is that it used to be extracted from squid ink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got Indian there for a second. No, no. <laughs> Hindi, sorry, <laughs> my bad, sorry. Uh, yep, yep, stop, I'll stop. There we go, there's, there's, uh... <laughs> there, there are far worse people to be raced against than white yeah. South Africans. <laughs> the 
as far um, worse? I've known a few <laughs> South Africans. Most of them are lovely. Um, one oh. of them, however, one of them, however, did jujitsu with me and was like real intense. Uh, he had no ears because of playing rugby so much, but oh. they don't. They don't wear. They don't wear scrum caps a lot of the time. So Doctor Gill says, "As a good Southern man, I, uh, I always, uh, I always say you gotta know when to hold in." So I'm gonna go with Harold in this one. 